Hi guys, it's Zakini here. Welcome back to today's video. So today we're going to be doing my monthly calendar and my paycheck budget. Um, I am doing it on paper this time in my, it's my Amanda Rachely planner that I purchased um, and I really like it. So this is an example of hopefully what our monthly calendar is going to end up looking like. Um, but we are just going to get straight into it. So um, starting on the first, I have um, my Smart Ring subscription comes out. I think that's around about $11. Um, and then on the 4th or the 5th, um, my YouTube. Oh, I cannot spell. This is why I use erasable pens for everything. Um, YouTube Premium comes out, which is, I think, $15.00. Then on the Wednesdays, nothing. Thursday, I have my health insurance and my rates, which I have as a fortnightly payment of about $70. Um, and then I shouldn't have anything for a while. And then somewhere in this week, I think it might be on the 10th, um, I pay for Apple Music, which is $12. Um, and then on the 16th, um, my home loan payment comes out, which is five eighty eight. And then the next thing is my contents insurance for my house comes out, which is $23, I think. Um, and then because I'll get paid, it will be... Um, my health insurance again, my rates again, and my union fees, which are 72. Um, and then there shouldn't be anything for the rest of that week. Oh, I forgot something up here. My water bill. Um, we'll do 80 for that fortnight, but for this one, I'll probably change it to 40. That one's just my own payments, whereas um, whatever I feel like, whereas the rates is something that it comes out based on what the government is saying it's going to cost at that particular point in time. So 88 for that. Um, and then I will have my Nespresso, which is $50.00. Um, and then on this day, I've got my power bill and my Vodafone, which is my phone and internet, which is 136. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, I do have an audible payment that comes out as well, um, but that's only going to be $5 for that month. I think that looks good. The only thing I think I'm missing is I do make payments towards my body corporate just randomly throughout the month. So I might put that at the end of the fortnight because I do occasionally um, change how much is coming out depending on how much money I have left over. All right, so I think that is all of my bills and stuff. Which is good. Um, and now I'm going to just chuck in some random stickers for my paydays. Because why not? There we go. That's one and two. Oh, lovely. And it was almost a 3Z month. But I think November is a 3Z month. Which is exciting. Um, my mortgage payments are there. Electrical bills. Just quickly. Phone bill is there. Checking to make sure I have anything, everything, and I think that I do. So that's exciting. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be highlighting based on what paycheck I pay the different things for. Oh, why are my highlighting skills so bad? That will be the last paycheck. Oh, don't smudge. Okay, so that is everything from my first paycheck. And then this will be everything from the second paycheck. It's a bit of a not even spread, to be fair. There we go. 
lovely. Um, and then do I have another color somewhere over here? I should have yeah, a green. Um, I'll put this as a separate thing. Okay, so that is the monthly calendar done, which is exciting. So from this, I will then turn over to my paycheck budget tracker. Right, do that so I can write a little bit easier. All right, um, so my income, hopefully you can see, I'm kind of a little bit in the way. Um, is just my basic salary pay, which is 1990. And there's a couple of numbers after that in the sense, but I don't know what that is. The bills, based on what we just wrote, we have TUH, MBRC, um, and then Unity, Deft. Apple, YouTube, and my home loan. There we go. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, maybe I can zoom in a bit. No, cannot zoom in a bit. All right. Um. So from there, we're going to talk about. Um. I don't know. I don't want to write down the dates, that doesn't really matter. Um, budgeted, we have 75, 70, though that is liable to change. This one I choose myself, but I think I'm going to go 80. Um, same thing with um, the deft payment. I can pick that, but I really need to start paying that soon. Um, and then Apple, I think is around 12. YouTube is 15 and then 588. So that should be everything. So we're then going to grab our calculator and add it all together. So 5, 70, 80, 100, 15, 12, and 588 is $940, which is the bill total. Um, and then if we then take away the 190, that leaves us with $1,050 left over, which is a good little start point. So then 1050, the envelopes we have, we've got coffee, uh, food, which was like my groceries, takeout, which is if I want to get Uber Eats, which does happen occasionally. Um, and then I still have a miscellaneous category in my bills that I put quite a lot of money towards. So for coffee this week, I'm going to try $50, um, $100 for food, which I might need to start increasing that at some point, $50 for takeout, and I'm going to go $150 for miscellaneous funds, which added all together should hopefully be $350, so $50. Plus 100 plus 50 plus 150 equals 350. So $350 for that, uh, which means that we have left over. Hopefully that light's bright enough. Um, means we have left over. So 1050, um, $700. Excellent. So from that $700 up the top here, um, I'm going to do for my cash envelopes, we're going to have the bills binder and the fund binder. Um, and I'm going to give them an even amount of about $200 each. So we'll write that in. That's not an exact number. I might end up taking out a little bit less than that. And we'll put our actual numbers in later. But that means that we'll have about $400 going towards our cash envelopes. Meaning we have $300 left over. And all of that is going to come down into the extra savings categories. And now I have a few savings accounts that are just growing slowly but surely. Um, some of them have requirements like the ING and the Suncorp have requirements of increasing it or adding a certain number per fortnight or per month. Um, but I'm going to go for both of them 
Well, one of them is going to be 100, the other one's going to be 150. And then the Rams is just an account that's attached to my home loan um, that I'm just transferring $5 a fortnight into. And it's something that I don't ever touch. So it's just going to be sitting there and hopefully gaining interest. Um, and then I'm going to leave a little bit of a cushion, which will be whatever is left over. Um, so if we do 150 plus 105, we end up with 255 minus 300 is equal to 45. We'll have $45 worth of cushion, which is exactly $300, which means we have left over zero. Total income one plus two plus three plus four. Okay, all right, so we'll just, I guess this is a double check step. So, oops, 940 plus 350 plus 400 plus 300 is equal to 1990. So that is my hope for the fortnight. There is a chance that I will get an extra payment this fortnight um, as a teacher. When you take on a pre-service teacher, someone that's still at uni, um, you do get paid a little bit for their time with you, which is exciting. That should be coming in at some point. Um, and then and I do have a few other opportunities coming up to earn a little bit of extra money on the side. So that could be quite good. Um, like I said, this is liable to not be exactly 200, 200. I will sort that out when I get the money out. Um, and if it doesn't end up being the total of $400, some of it will be in one of these accounts. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the uh, paper option of this. Um, I like putting things on paper. I find it a little bit easier to keep track of, but let me know what you think. I hope you have a great day. Keep smiling. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.